And every single day, the Kendrick brothers prioritized sitting there to pray with one another, would pause filming throughout the day and say, y'all, the scene we're about to film, someone could come to know the Lord in the theater from this scene. So let's pause right here as hot and sweaty and tired as we all are. And let's ask God's favor to be on this scene before we yell action. What is it that you see in movies that you want to choose them? The ones you've done have been so biblical. Can you talk about, you know, what are the things that you look for in a film before you decide to go full throttle on it? The fact that they are biblical, that they do not sugarcoat the gospel, that there are clear messages that align with what I, I feel like is the purpose of my life, which has been ministry. I've been in ministry for 25 years. And so I am so surprised. Never in a million years could you have ever told me that I would get to still serve that particular mission and do it on film. Who knew that we'd be in a day and age and a generation where there would be faith-based films that, again, don't water down the message, but also have excellence in storytelling and in cinematography. And so the fact that I get to be a part of that feels like a gift to me. Yeah, for me too, uh, it's been a thing where I've come to the conclusion over the years, like I don't want to just be a product, part of projects to just entertain people, but impact people because some of the most impactful films were my favorite films. Like you had The Pursuit of Happiness, you had um, just so many that you watched it, you left the theaters or you left the, the living room and you're like, you know what, I'm thinking about life differently now. So anybody can just entertain someone, but just to have the heart posture and the opportunity to be able to pour into somebody to impact them, that's what I, I want my life to reflect as well as glorify God in that process. And I love the message of mentorship and discipleship. Um, and could either of you kind of expand on that? Well, mentorship has been critical in my life. When I look back to the age that the young man, the centerpiece of this story, he's 19 years old. When I look back to my 19, 20, 21 year old, where you kind of feel a little bit insecure, you're unsure about the future, you're actually not positive that you'll be enough and competent for whatever is coming. The fact that there were some older women along the way, and by the way, when I say older, I don't even mean 70. I mean, just 10 years older. Like when you're 19 and a 28 year old pays attention to you, encourages you, challenge you, is an example for you because they're successful in some area that you admire, that means everything. And it really does shift the trajectory of what you believe is possible for yourself. So I think reintroducing that through the Forge movie is gonna remind people of those people that impacted their life and now the responsibility that we have to do the same thing. Yeah, it's truly a testament to what she just said, because I had a professor my sophomore year. Uh, he was a working actor and he was a fundamentals of acting professor. And the word that he gave me at the end of the semester, he was like, hey, you're really good at this. If this is something you want to do, you should stick with it. And me thinking that, OK, he does this for, for real, for real. And it's a thing where I want to do that. But that definitely uh, gave me that that seed of, OK, I believe I can do this. And it's, it's interesting because he actually attended a recent screen. And so he's like, man, I'm so proud of you. But just having that mentor to encourage me with those words, it meant everything and led me down this path. It probably felt so good, too, for him to see the movie and, and yeah. you just put to him. Yeah. And, you know, you were the lead. So how did that feel when you got that that role? It truly was an answer prayer, first and foremost, and it just showed that the desires of my heart, God placed them there, but it was a thing where I had to trust them with that process. And when I say, I tell so many people when they're enthused about, man, you're doing this, you're doing that. I'm like, no, God opened this door and that door because in my private time, I, I saw God heard the prayers and I knew the things that were on my hearts and the things that God, the doors that he's opened, I couldn't have done it myself. So just showing like, okay, like it's been a great fun journey, but at the same time, it's built my faith along the way. So how do you implement prayer? I I know that I've heard that the Kendrick brothers are um, love to have prayer on set, but can you talk about how you implement prayer on set? Oh yeah, man. Every single day, the Kendrick brothers prioritized on set the entire cast and crew sitting down for a moment before everybody went to their individual posts and sitting there to pray with one another. Um, there would be at least 10 or 15 minutes where someone presents a devotional straight from the scriptures to encourage and then also praise over every single person, praying for their families back at home, praying for their gifts and talents and abilities to be used for God's glory on the set. And then not only did they start each day with prayer, but then as we were going throughout the filming process, which 
you know, I've only dipped my toe into the film industry. And now I have so much respect for people that do this all the time because you don't even realize the amount of work that goes into those folks behind the scenes, behind the camera that are on ladders and hanging lights and it's 100 degrees and you can't run the air conditioner because the sound will pick up. So everybody's like 14 hours a day, totally expended. And still, the Kendrick brothers would pause filming throughout the day and say, y'all, the scene we're about to film, someone could come to know the Lord in the theater from this scene, or someone could be changed and inspired about forgiveness in this scene. So let's pause right here as hot and sweaty and tired as we all are. And let's ask God's favor to be on this scene before we yell action. And Aww. so prayer wasn't just like an addendum to the filming process. It was prioritized throughout the entire experience. Priscilla, can you also talk about how your character can be encouraging to women? Absolutely. Um, parenting is hard, whether you're a mother or a father, and whether you're a single parent or you're doing it with a, a partner in the home with you, a marriage partner in the, in the home, the reality is it's hard and it's exhausting and you're trying to figure it out as you go because the way that you parent them when they're three is not the same as when they're 20 and yet you're still their parent. So you're trying to figure it out and you're emotionally expended and physically exhausted while you're doing it. So I think to see the resilience of this woman on screen, that she is unsure about the best way to encourage her boy at this point in his life, but she doesn't give up and she doesn't stop. She does what she can and then she trusts God. God with what she can't. And I hope that people see that and it inspires them as parents, but also as grandparents to know that you're not out of the game. You're not irrelevant. The people connected to you still need your voice. I love that. And I, and I, and I feel that because I've got three little ones. So oh, and, yes, ma'am. My prayer every day, every single day, my one prayer for them is that they choose the faith themselves. And so that's yeah. that's really what I pray over them. And so I love movies like this that encourage, um, you know, younger generations and encourage younger people. What would you guys say, like the message, what would you hope, you know, younger people get out of this? Truly, uh, again, surrender is a beautiful thing when you can trust those who are also following the Lord to lead you. They won't just give you uh advice from their perspective versus having foundational principles pulled right from scripture to say hey this is how the lord looks at this so this is why you should do it because this is ultimately the truth and the foundation of what will work out for you as you place your trust in jesus so just having those uh just encouraging people to trust trust the lord and trust their mentors who god is placing their lives for sure that really does encapsulate uh, the message, <laughs> trusting God and surrendering. What is it that you're still holding back and not releasing to him? Because you actually don't trust that he has your best interest in mind. Just causing people to consider that and then um, recalibrate their lives as a result of seeing this film. Priscilla, we, we love what you're doing and, and we've written about your books and, and um, you know the movies that you've been in. But what would you kind of want to say to the movie guide audience? I would want to say to them, keep going like things are things are challenging right now around us, meaning you just look on your Instagram feed. And even if it's something that's not directly impacting you and your people, it is impacting you because you're seeing what's happening in the culture around us, the moral decline or the political chaos or the division amongst groups of people. I mean, it can be taxing on you in ways that you're not even aware of just emotionally as you absorb all that. But then not just what's happening to all of us corporately, but underneath the roof of your own house, you have your own stuff with your people and your struggles, health crisis and financial crisis. Keep going. Keep putting one foot in front of the other and knowing that if God sustains you to this point, he is going to keep sustaining you, keeping you, encouraging you, and taking you safely to the destinations that he has in mind for you. Keep going. Um, I want to thank you for this time um, and want to know if there was any other kind of great messages that you felt out of the movie that you'd, you want to make sure that we kind of spoke on. Yeah, truly the theme of forgiveness as well. I feel like that's so important because until we have someone in our life like Joshua Moore was to Isaiah to point out the things that you may be carrying that you may not be aware of, to just let those things go and make yourself available for what God has for you, that's so important. So the, the theme and element of forgiveness is really one of my favorite themes of the movie.
If you enjoy videos that follow your values like ours and you want to help us continue, uh, go to movieguide.org slash donate because we're actually a nonprofit. You may not know that, but we're working in Hollywood every day to help families have more choices that follows their values. And also subscribe right now.